Hello. In this video, I'm going to try to do a grams to grams conversion problem for you, and I will explain the process behind every step very, very clearly. So first, I'm going to tell you the basic steps you need to solve a grams to grams conversion problem. You need to know the molar masses of both of the chemicals they ask you about. You need to know the mole ratio between the chemicals from the chemical equation they gave you, and you need a starting value. What you do after that is you use equality relationships that you wrote down in these first two steps to figure out the appropriate conversion factors, then you multiply them with the calculator and it gives you the answer. I don't expect you to be able to do this just from that description. I want to show you in a lot of detail exactly what these steps are. So first, you have a chemical equation and it asks you how many grams of carbon dioxide you need to make 230 grams of glucose. Well, it says grams of carbon dioxide. I'm going to need the molar mass of carbon dioxide. So let me get the molar mass. Well, I pull up my periodic table and I find one carbon and two oxygens. I add up the masses and I get 44.01. So this is the first fact I need to solve the problem, the molar mass of carbon dioxide. Next, I keep reading and I need to know about, let's see, grams of sugar. That's glucose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my periodic table and figure out the molar mass in the same way. I have 6 carbons, 12 hydrogens, and 6 oxygens, so I add up all those masses, and I get 180.18 grams. Finally, notice that this is a fact about moles and grams of carbon dioxide, and this is a fact about moles and grams of glucose, but I don't have the connection between them that I need to do this conversion. So the last fact I need comes from the chemical equation. It's a connection between the two chemicals they ask me about. Specifically, I get it from the chemical equation, and it gives me facts about the moles of the chemicals, how they're related, not grams. So I take the coefficients directly from the equation, and 6 moles of carbon dioxide is somehow equivalent to 1 mole of sugar. Now I have my three facts. I'm going to start doing the actual problem. I take the starting quantity they give me, 230 grams of sugar, glucose, and I write that all down, the unit and the chemical. What I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to use these equality relationships and turn them into fractions that I can use to convert between them. Which one do I choose, though? I have three. And this is how you do it. You look for the unit on the bottom of this conversion fraction that you need. It has to be the same as the unit before it. These two have to be exactly the same. That means that you have to have the same unit, grams, and the same chemical glucose in this case. So I'll put those both down here. Now that I know what goes on the bottom of my conversion fraction, I can choose which equality relationship I need. Basically, I look for one that has grams of glucose. It has to have both. So I'll just go down the list. First one does not. It's talking about moles and grams of carbon dioxide. Second one, it does. Grams of glucose. It's right there. It has the same unit and chemical. So this is what I'm going to use. Now, I turn this equality relationship into a fraction by putting one part on the bottom, whichever part I need, in this case it's the grams of glucose part, and the other part goes on the top. Exactly the same number, unit, and chemical, so one mole of glucose. This fraction comes from this equality relationship. And also, once I use it once, I'm not going to use it again, so I'll just blank it out. I'm going to repeat the steps. I need another conversion fraction. I need to figure out what goes on the bottom by looking at the previous unit and chemical. In this case, it's moles of glucose. Now I need to match this unit and chemical with some fact I know. So we'll look at the first one. This is about moles and grams of carbon dioxide. Not helpful. But this one helps. It's about moles of carbon dioxide and moles of glucose. This matches. And so if it matches, I use one half to put on the bottom. In this case, it's the glucose half. And the other half goes on the top. In this case, it's six moles of carbon dioxide. I have to use exactly the same number, unit, and chemical. So this equality relationship turns into this fraction, and once I use it, I won't use it again, so I'll blank it out. I have one more step. I have to write another conversion fraction. Now, the unit on the bottom is going to be the same as the unit and chemical on the previous fraction, on the top of the previous fraction. So now I'll look through my facts and see if any of them help me. That first one does. One mole of carbon dioxide, that relates. It has the same unit and chemical. So that means that this half goes on the bottom, one mole of carbon dioxide, and I'll center that. The other half of the equation goes on the top of the fraction, 
In this case, it's 44.01 grams of carbon dioxide. So this equality relationship turned into this fraction. And now I'm set. I started with grams of glucose, and grams of glucose is on the bottom of the other fraction. That has to happen. Then I had moles of glucose matched on the top and on the bottom. Good. Then I had moles of carbon dioxide matched on the top and on the bottom. Good. The only unmatched unit in chemical is grams of carbon dioxide. And that's what I want, because that's what the problem asks me about. So it's good that that's the only unmatched unit. Now we calculate. So we start with 230, and the calculator doesn't know how to deal with units, so we don't leave them. We just take them out. Then I multiply by 1 over 180, which you could do like this with a fraction function, or you could use parentheses, but I like the fraction, it's clearer. Times 6 over 1, times 44.01 over 1, then you hit enter, and you get your answer. In this case, it's 337.41. So I'm done. In order to make 230 grams of glucose, I need 337.41 grams of carbon dioxide. Let's just summarize what happened. We had a problem. We knew that we had to get the molar mass of one of the chemicals, the molar mass of the other chemical, the target one, and the connection between them, which came from the chemical equation and is about the molar relationship. Once we had all of our known necessary facts, we could start the problem. They asked me about 230 grams of glucose, so that's what I start with. I use a conversion fraction that comes from one of these equality relationships that matches on the diagonal. I do the same again. And now, once I actually have my correct chain of fractions, I put it into the calculator and I get the answer, 337.41 grams of carbon dioxide. So you write down the molar masses of both the given and the target chemical, the mole ratio between them, and the starting value. Then you use a bunch of conversion fractions, matching on the diagonal to figure out which one to use. Once you have them all done, you put them in the calculator and you get your answer.